time for topic of the show. Each week we take a special item from the Nintendo pipeline and break it down bit by bit. This week it is the Nintendo NX, which is revealed by credible sources to have detachable controllers be a handheld, but also dock to your TV for an experience where there's no play like it. Bam. Boom. Bam. You writing these times down? Yep. Nice. I got a lot of little time things noted. Nice. Oh, you're, you're going above and beyond. <laughs> well, a couple times, like, if there's a little, like, a pop or a crackle or something, I'm going to try to go in and, and make it so it's not as jarring on the ears, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Kind of uh, lube up the ears, if you will. If it recorded. If it's episodes you recorded. <laughs> if on either of our backup copies. <laughs> yeah. oh. It says on my MP3 Skype recorder that this call is recording. Yep, mine too. Um, this whole NX story, this topic of the show is brought to you by Eurogamer. They're not an official sponsor of us, so if we say anything that's crap, don't get mad at them. Um, Eurogamer broke details of Nintendo's new console, the Nintendo NX. This is pretty much immediately following a tweet by Emily Rogers, who's notorious or famous, depending on how you look at it. If you're Nintendo, she's notorious. If you're Bill Trennan, she's your idol. Bill! Uh, Bill! <laughs> stating that the new Nintendo NX information was coming very soon. Um, she even called out that it was going to be by very big publishers, which Eurogamer is. If you don't think that Eurogamer is big, it's probably because you are in, what is it, the UK, Britain, you're Brexiting all over the place. You don't even know what Europe is anymore. Um, <laughs> otherwise, the rest of the world is <laughs> very well aware. <laughs> We're very in tune to what's going on. <laughs> um, but... We feel like we should note that a lot of the information that Eurogamer shared about the Nintendo NX is information that we already knew. A lot of these things were rumored by fairly credible sources before, and it just seems like now this information is pretty much confirmed. Here's likely the real deal with the Nintendo NX, which is coming out confirmed for March 2017. According to, quote, multiple credible sources, end quote, the Nintendo NX will be a handheld slash home console hybrid of sorts. Hmm. It'll be a handheld that then docks to your big TV for play at home, um, but also can be taken on the go. Primarily, the Nintendo NX is a handheld. Yeah. Primarily. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll be compatible with their smartphone game lineup because it is a handheld. Um, a big thing people are a buzz about is that it has these detachable controllers. The mock-up image from Eurogamer shows that the detachable controllers are on the side of the thing, very reminiscent of basically a PlayStation Vita um, or the Wii U gamepad. Um, mm. I think it's more along the lines of a Vita, though, less clunky and stuff. It seems very slim and trim. Yeah. Um, well, it seems very much like a just a 3DS cut in half and only the bottom screen, only... Yep. Probably much bigger. I mean, not much, much, much bigger, but much bigger. Yeah. We'll put some mock-ups on the screen for the thumbnail if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and if you're um, listening on iTunes or SoundCloud, check out our Twitter to see the thumbnail image that we have, which is kind of this compilation of all of the mock-up images. Um, I think I think someone else called out that it looks a lot like the new logo for Nintendo or their new slogan where there's there's no play like it how the word play is kind of like this little remote sort of looking thing. Um, it looks basically like what it would be one half of the NX controller. Um, we always thought it was part of the 3DS, but it looks like it could be part of the Nintendo NX. Mm. Um, UK trade publication MCV report the N Nintendo NX will probably be much cheaper than we have anticipated. Um, and those with hands-on experience with the device say it feels, quote, like a bit of a novelty or a bit like a novelty, end quote. A new patent shows details on a supplemental computing device that some are speculating could be the technology used with the Nintendo NX. What it seems to do is be able to give a power to boost um, a power boost to the devices to maybe even stream games over an internet connection. Zach and I speculated in the previous recording of this episode that this could be used to make basically an entire digital library of previous Nintendo games, such as the Virtual Console, the eShop, etc. Um, to be prepared to go at launch because Kimishimi said that one of the main reasons that they delayed the Nintendo NX was to prepare for the software lineup. Um, it also is worth noting that so far sources te seem to be saying that the NX is not backwards compatible, even though it's going to be using cartridges. Um, I guess using cartridges would mean that it's obvious it's not backwards compatible with the Wii U. Yeah, but it I don't seems think it has. 
I don't think it has been confirmed completely that it's not backwards compatible with the 3DS. I think that yeah. uh, it's just been confirmed that not the Wii U, and so that automatically makes people say it's not backwards compatible because that's usually how you would address it in terms of, like, the PS3 versus the PS4 or, you know, just moving on from one console to the next. But there's still that possibility that 3DS cartridges will work on it. And also, like uh, I mentioned in the last episode or the, the last one, that they could also release a peripheral that uh, sort of like the NFC chip or not necessarily something that's uh, separate from the device itself, but plugs into the cartridge slot and somehow... Uh, reads cartridges like an SD card sort of adapter thing that for the micro SD card so you can use that in a port like in case the cartridge slot is designed somewhat differently or has some sort of different reader system um, they could always do something like that it seems like a mistake to me if they don't do some way to play your 3DS titles also mm-hmm. on the system. Um, with the Wii U, I can see that being a lot more of letting that slide, especially because of the rumors that uh, we'll be getting a lot of ports. And, of course, we already know for sure we're getting Breath of the Wild NX, so it wouldn't entirely make sense to have you be able to play NX and Wii U Breath of the Wild on there if it was a backwards-compatible system. And it would seem like they just have a like release Breath of the Wild on Wii U first and maybe an NX version a year from now or something in the future. If that were the case where it was just a simple this NX basically just plays all your Wii U games and we'll be releasing some new things, uh somewhat like a new three D S sort of thing or I I really think they want it to stand out as separate from the Wii U, but adding three D S uh compatibility I don't think would hurt that. Um, making it stand aside, you know, it would I yeah. think, definitely benefit the system um, tremendously. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, to have this handheld, I mean, the only reason I think that it wouldn't be backwards compatible to hand, with the 3DS is just the fact that it is only one screen, um, probably no 3D functionality, which is very sad that it's probably going to be abandoning the 3D thing. Yeah. Um, but we talked about it, I think, before, that it may be able to just be tilted, like, horizontally or something, or vertically, mm-hmm. I guess it would be. Uh, to be played that way. Um, so yeah, that's that'd be like my only reason of maybe why it's truly coexisting along the 3DS is that the 3DS is just kind of a different beast entirely. Yeah, that's true. Um, but to be able to say like, hey, here's the Nintendo NX and you can play Pokemon Sun and Moon, Pokemon XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Mario Kart 7, you know, um, you can download the digital code for Mario Kart 8, like it's on the virtual console. I mean, all these things, like it could be immediately filled with such a large catalog of games, but yeah, um, that's, that's the only reason why. But I mean, I don't know, all these other reports, I do think the detachable controllers are a very smart move. Um, you know, something. To go- yeah. to go about handling just the whole way we've seen kind of playing it. Mm-hmm. Um, the initial response, I think, from a lot of people online, including us, was that the detachable controllers were for the sake of having two people play with the same mm-hmm. NX. Most likely not the case. Most likely it's for kind of like a Wiimote nunchuck sort of play, which we noted in a previous recording is so comfortable, I think, as people take for granted. Yeah. The ability to sit and have your arms like on the resting part of the chair or the couch or mm-hmm. even at your sides when you're standing. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking the NX is going to be a much more comfortable setup compared to something like the Wii U gamepad, which a lot of people complain was heavy and clunky. And, and to do that wirelessly, too, without the awkward cord in front of you, also yeah. that gets wrapped around, uh, that'll be definitely a huge relief. And also it's, it appears as though um, most likely it also won't have, like, arm straps where you're going to be flinging it a lot so it doesn't need to be you know wrapped around your hand and it just seems very lightweight and comfortable and easy to use um it seems like a very almost kind of like a uh, a little smart tv remote control that a lot of those are very thin and simple nowadays um it it seems almost like if it is how the mock-up sort of makes it appear almost like you could kind of snap the controllers really easily um with some force on either end you know it seems like they kind of uh are a little frail looking perhaps but we'll have to see about that also it kind of gets it it's an interesting point that I don't think we made in the the other recording that 
I kind of had this thought. I don't know if Nintendo has ever really released a device, especially like a handheld, that um, is designed in such a way that if you were to drop it on the ground, are these controllers going to go flying off or are... You know, is something going to break off of it a little easier than a console previously? Like every single other controller we've got for the, you know, the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boys, the 3DS, uh, they very, they do a really good job at their clamshell design, which makes it so dropping is less of a hazard. Uh, I know that you had a problem with your, like your gamepad, uh, is really yeah. not designed to be dropped very far because it seems like it can break fairly easy, but it's also not made for or going on the go with you and it seems like ever since like the Game Boy Advance SP really they've had this philosophy of like really making sure that the the consoles are very durable and uh they even had the test with their DS or the 3DS one of those where they had to drop the unit from chest height 10 times each time to make sure that the console was still turning on properly and working great um to test that functionality, they're, like, very concerned about um, people dropping it. So it makes me kind of wonder, like, this is kind of a unique thing for them to actually have. I can imagine, like, if you were to drop this on the ground, uh, your controllers could easily fall off or become detached, which is... I wonder how um, that sort of, if they, like, what they've thought about that, if there's any solution to, I mean, ideally, I guess you won't be trying not to drop you know you'll be trying to keep it from being crashed onto the ground like that but also yeah, like I'm, I'm always worried about that with my vita because like the 3ds yeah. like i don't want to drop my 3ds definitely but if i do i at least know the screen's protected the vita like even if i put it like in my backpack like there's so much stuff that could scuff that up yeah um, with the screen being exposed like that and so yeah i i i, I hear that concern I just want to see it. Speaking of when we could see mm-hmm. it, it seems as though Nintendo is hinting at a September reveal of sorts. Um, we've heard about that in the past, I think, or I, I guess we've heard confirmed by Nintendo that they're talking about later this year, which would definitely mean around the September, October, November time, um, with October and November being definitely towards the too late side. Um, and so September makes a ton of sense. There's the Tokyo Game Show, which we've reported on in the past, is probably the likely time yeah. for rec- um, for revealing it. Um, they revealed the Wii Mote controller at the Tokyo Game Show. So to show off basically this whole console, which in itself is probably basically just one big controller because it's a handheld, uh, makes a whole lot of sense there. Um, and with the nature of the Internet nowadays, it doesn't need to be at E3. It doesn't need to be at the Nintendo experience or something like that. It can be wherever they want it to be and the world to report on it. Like everyone will hear about it by the time the night's over. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, so yeah, I think I mean, we've talked at nauseum about the Nintendo NX. Um, yeah. These new reports though, I think are definitely comforting. Um, I think it, the Nintendo NX is definitely going the right direction. Like very glad it's not another home console. I, I mean, not like very glad, like I wouldn't have minded yeah. that, but I mean, I do like that it's kind of like <clears throat> taking a step back. They're doing what they do best, I think, is mobile gaming. Yeah, uh, but, yeah. But, well, but with the power, because the, that's the other rumor out there, is that it will have about the power of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, um, the current Gen 1, so not the Neo, not the Scorpio, which would mean we're basically going to be getting a handheld with the power of the Xbox One, which is absolutely insane to think about when you look, I mean at the handhelds already out there. Like, I mean, this is going to blow the Vita away, which, I mean, I mm-hmm. guess the Vita's old now, but, I mean, it's going to be... Like, if Nintendo would have chosen to gone the home console route, it yeah. would have it would have been Scorpio Neo level, probably. <clears throat> um, yeah. But to get the capability of it being able to go on the go is why it's going to be around that PlayStation 4, yeah. Xbox One level. Which, yeah, definitely. Uh, which what? Which what? Well, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you had something else to finish there. I just wanted nah. to make a, a couple points, nah. uh, which uh, kind of I'm blanking on at the moment because uh, I, I thought you were going to finish something. Which one? Uh, which, uh, which uh, the two points I wanted to make, at least the the first one I remember is that um, we kind of talked about in the last recording that some a lot of people it seems are very disappointed that the system isn't like a 4K monster of a machine that is uh, rivaling the Neo and the Scorpio or even the base PS4 power. 
And we kind of had a little bit of discussion. We won't go too much into it in this one, but just the fact that they are going to be like their teams have merged now into one department. They'll be working towards mobile and console kind of at the same time. So we'll definitely be getting a much larger stream of Nintendo games more frequently. And so I I think that I kind of made the point that you really like, all these uh, people that are so obsessed about getting, like, a Grand Theft Auto V on it or a the next Fallout, you know, things like that, I really think that the console really doesn't need it. It doesn't need the third-party support. I don't think the Nintendo is really going to get too much of that back in their uh, in their future of, of doing this. Uh, like, people have kind of left Nintendo. They kind of got their deals with Xbox and PS4. I think that Steam is kind of... Uh, really competing with those systems, and I think Nintendo is just sort of on their own sort of page and wavelength where they can kind of do their own thing, and especially if they are able to merge departments and uh, kind of release more games frequently, I think they'll have a very powerful uh, platform to, like, advocate for and say, you know, like, there is no play like it. Like, you cannot play this game and 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 this game, you know, on these other platforms. And they can also say, yeah, but you can't play this and this. But the the case is with a lot of those those games, it's like you can play this on Xbox or Steam or PS4. So it's like a really big console war sort of scenario going on with those guys. And I think Nintendo is almost in a lucky position where they're able to sort of sit on the sideline and have their own sort of wealth of, of thing that they're doing that just works and somehow is able to just bring people back in waves when they do the right thing. And I really don't think that it should be that much of a concern that it is uh, meeting these, like the levels of, of those sort of platforms i think that it's going to be just fine as long as they definitely kind of are able to merge these things into one one sort of platform and then the other uh point that i was going to make was uh crap what was it uh crap uh never well, mind. i was gonna note here real quick i'll step in there i was gonna note that justin davis from igm pointed out on game scoop this past week that along the similar lines of thought that, you know, they're going to be combining all their things. If you look back at the previous catalog of games in the past generation of Nintendo with the Wii U and 3DS, like, there's been so many games, and while it may seem like the Wii U had a lackluster cycle because everything was so spread out, when you look at Nintendo's library as a whole, you know, they have, as far as Mario games go, they had Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. 2, New Super Luigi U, New Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario World, Captain Toad. In the Zelda area, they had Triforce Heroes, Link Between Worlds, and in a remake of Majora's Mask, um, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker, all within yeah, one yeah. generation. Like, I mean, with um, Mario Kart, they had two different Mario Karts within one generation. With, I mean, all these franchises, they pumped out a ton. They had a remake of Star Fox and a new Star Fox all within one generation of console Yeah. when you combine the handheld and the home console. So if they're able to go at that rate, the NX is going to be jam-packed because it seems as though they're consolidating all their development energy into one console. Yeah. So Well, and also the, the fact that they have really cut down on the Wii U's output over the past, you know, you could say even couple years. So most likely there's already been many, many games that are in development for the NX, and so they should just be able to come out of the gate with a lot of launch titles and then just keep it rolling, you know, for yeah. years and years. So, yeah, it seems, um, like, it's, be, it seems like they're going to have, like, a whole bunch at launch. I'm assuming they better. Yeah. And they're going to be able to have some pretty substantial stuff during the summer. Then they're going to have stuff for the holiday season. Like, it's just going to be... Yeah. Um, seems as though it's going to be nonstop, and I don't think... I think Kimishima is a very respectable president so far, as far as Nintendo yeah, definitely. goes. Yeah, definitely. And I don't think he's going to let the ball drop. And if he does let the ball drop for any reason, he's going to make it up. Like, he's going to have a good excuse for why it's lackluster this one season. But yeah. he's going to have well, a reason for yeah. to be boosted the next. I and definitely so. think they're going to try. They, they've got to try to not have one of those, like, oh, we're starting off with kind of a lackluster season. I I really think that hopefully they can have a very strong 2017 with all this. Hopefully it's not like, all right, we have Zelda here, so uh, everybody just kind of rest easy for a little bit. Hopefully you're yeah. all satisfied with which, this. 
What's crazy is they already have like Sonic Project Sonic 2017 for the fall. Yeah. Which I mean is going to be a huge, like a huge fun game. It looks like if it's anything like Sonic Generations, if it's a sequel to that. Yeah. And with the direction of Sonic's going, but I mean that's already not, that's already one confirmed huge game for the NX. And that's that's just one of many. It's, yeah, it's also not exclusive to it. Also, so there's that's like true. four other platforms it's competing with. Um, but the other point before it, it leaves me again was I was really thinking about how are they going to market this system? Like when it when it comes to market, like the boxing of it, because are they going to approach this system as like with the Wii U and the 3DS, it's very different approaches with uh, seeing it on the shelf, for example. Like uh, the Wii U is a very big box. It's usually bundled with a lot and it's uh, a big system because it has, you know, the TV uh, unit and then the game pad with it and all the connection cables and stuff. Is the Nintendo NX going to be on the shelf next to 3DSs, I wonder, in a smaller box size? Or is it's it going be to a be a huge freaking box that huge... has 20 Amiibo in it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be like, you want this? Because I'm assuming that, uh, well, I think they've already confirmed that Amiibo will have to work with the NX because it's um, Zelda Breath of the Wild is on there. So, um, and that has Amiibo functionality. And I think they've already confirmed that Amiibo are sticking around. Yeah. And so you have like, I mean, I think they should just do that. Bundle the NX with Amiibo. You just got straight sales right there because people want the Amiibo. An Maybe NX like a, Amiibo. I think yeah, we like, talked about that before, too. And They need to have, like, just... If they re-release the NES and stuff, just have, like, a little NES Amiibo or an SNES Amiibo. Just little things, like, on a little trophy or something. A little like, Iowata Amiibo for your Nintendo that'd NX. That'd be really cool, like the... Nintendo developer line or something that has like a Miyamoto amiibo and a, a Reggie, a Bill Trinan, Bill Trinan amiibo, make it happen. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all that. So be sure to leave comments down below on what you think of the new announcements of the Nintendo NX. Um, if you like the de- idea of the detachable controllers, if you're bummed that it's not a home console, and what you think about just all the stuff that we talked about. There's so much stuff. We don't have a definitive question for you.